Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and this video is how to create a remote desktop connection from Windows 8 to Ubuntu 13.04. The outcomes for this video include installing XRDP in Ubuntu, installing a GNOME session fallback in Ubuntu to work with XRDP. For VirtualBox users, demonstrate the network settings required to have both computers on the same LAN or local area network. Also, how to obtain an IP address from Windows 8 and Ubuntu 13.04 computers. Although you can use computer names, if you don't have a name server at home, you can use IP addresses, and this eliminates one area that there could be some errors. Finally, remote desktop from Windows 8 to Ubuntu 13.04 and create a text file on Ubuntu in the Windows computer. Now one area that does not cover is keyboard mappings if you're using a different language in English and that may present us some problems and you may have to check on the internet for solutions. Requirements Windows 8 operating system. Windows 7 should work with this setup. Ubuntu 13.04 desktop. Ubuntu 12.10 should work. I've got a different video on how to get Ubuntu 12.04 to work with Windows 8 and uh, 7. So you should check that out if you're working with Ubuntu 12.04. Both systems should be on the same LAN or local area network. And both systems should use the same keyboard mapping, the same language. Otherwise, that could be a problem. Additional info, you've got the XRDP site. GNOME session fallback, there's a question and answer session in Ask Ubuntu. And then remote desktop in Ubuntu 12.10. This link has uh, XRDP keyboard setup links if you have a problem with that. All the information I've right is the best I can and as up to date as I can but sometimes I may not catch everything so I've got a disclaimer. First step in making uh, Ubuntu 13.04 a uh, remote desktop protocol server is to install XRDP. So we'll just simply go here. If your terminal's not showing up you just simply type terminal term it will show up and then open that up. I'm going to put this up here at the top left here. And simply go to sudo apt get install xrdp. You can't really get this through the software center. And uh, this should install fairly quickly. And the second thing is we need a uh, fallback uh, 2D uh, desktop. For this we'll go to apt get install gnome session fallback. Now this will take a little bit longer. Now we need to uh, create a file so that when we log in we'll, it will fall back to 2D uh, for the remote desktop protocol. In order to do this I'm going to use the default text editor get it and in this fall file simply key in no session space and then two dashes session equal gnome fallback. Now we're going to save this in our home directory with the name of .x session. So we go to, in this case this is Mike, so only Mike will be able to use RDP on this uh, computer. So we're going to call this file .x session. Now you notice there's X session old and X session errors, but make sure just plain X session and click save. And if we want to check ourselves, we could go back to our terminal and we'll do an ls a. And you'll notice that it's there. And if we want to check what's inside it, we'll do a cat dot X session and you'll see that it's what we've written. Now we'll restart the computer here. Go over here and restart it. Shut down. And I'm going to show you one thing that's going to happen on the restart when you uh, you're going to see some options for a GNOME session fallback. 
but the Unity desktop is still going to be your default desktop. Here we are on the Ubuntu 13.04 restart. You'll notice we have this little icon here, and if I click on it, it says GNOME Fallback, GNOME Fallback No Effects, or Ubuntu Default. So that's going to come in with the GNOME Session Fallback. But if you just key in, normally, and your desktop will appear in uh, Unity. Shouldn't be any changes. So that there's your normal Unity desktop. One quick thing I want to point out for uh, people that are working with VirtualBox is that on your network setting for this remote desktop to work, when it says RDP Ubuntu RRO2, well, it has to be set to bridged adapter. The reason it has to be set to bridge adapter is that this allows a computer to be on the same network or same local area network and allows the computers to fi find each other. If you set it to NAT, they'll never find each other. And so both the Ubuntu computer and the Windows, com Windows 8 computer, in my case I'm using two virtual machines to demonstrate how to do this, should have the bridge adapter setting. If you're using hardware machines, just make sure they're on the same local area network. Here I have Windows 8 and Ubuntu 13.04 running side by side. I one of the things I'm going to check before actually making the connection is that both of these are on the same LAN. And the way to do this is in Windows you want to check your IP address. In this case I'm going to use Windows PowerShell. I'm going to use IP config. In this case it's 1.21. In Ubuntu I'm going to use the terminal and in this case I'm going to use ifconfig. You notice that both of them have this is 192.168.1. They're both on the same LAN because the first three sets of numbers are correct. Now let's go make the connection. Everything hopefully should work right. Let me get this, and in this case I'm going to remote desktop connection. And in this case I have to use this number right here. At home I don't have a name server, so I'm going to just connect to 168.1.22 and click connect. And the remote desktop connection thing is going to come up. And it's going to ask for my login to the Ubuntu. Click OK. And this is the remote desktop into Ubuntu. Now this is the GNOME fallback session. Now, if you notice back here, I'm still logged in on the Ubuntu machine with the uh, Unity. But with the GNOME fallback session, I have to go here for applications. But let, let's let's verify that I'm going to have uh, this is going to work. So I'm going to go to the Office right here and go to Libre Office Writer. And basically, I'm going to put something in this document. Call it Test Connection File Save As, and I'm going to put it into Documents. And I'm simply going to call it test connection or test con. Bring this, click on save. Now, one thing that uh, you have to get used to here is. And you, when you log out, there's no way to log out here. So what you're going to have to do to log out, you're going to have to go to Applications, Accessories, go to Terminal, put in a GNOME Session Quit. This is how you're going to have to log out of the remote desktop from uh, Windows to hit Enter. 
you're going to log out. Now I'm back in Windows over here. But let me uh, close this, actually close this, and minimize this, get rid of this window, and then here I am completely in Ubuntu, and I want to check and make sure that I have a file here. So I'm going to go to LibreOffice and press. Where's Writer? Go to Open. Go to Documents, TestCon ODT, Open, and there's a Test Connection document. So if your network settings, uh, everything on your network is set correctly, you may be able to access your computer from outside your local area network. Uh, this is one reason why you need to have firewalls set on router uh, and maybe even on your own local computer. So one thing I'm going to show you is how to turn XRDP on and off. So to turn it off, you would simply go to your terminal sudo service xrdp stop right now the xrdp server is turned off to turn it back on we simply put on start if you want to restart after making some configuration settings you don't want to completely turn off your computer you can simply say restart so basically the way it's set right now it'll the remote desktop protocol server will start every time you start your Ubuntu machine because you can access your Ubuntu computer from outside your local area network make sure you have all your security settings established on both your router and your Ubuntu machine so this that's pretty much it for showing you how to remote desktop from Windows 8 to Ubuntu 13.04. Thank you.